So uh, pronunciation is Kene Wangu. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited. Um, very thankful, blessed for this opportunity to play for the Vikings. You know, uh, my agent and I, we circled the Vikings as like a possible spot early on day three. It just so happened to happen, you know, the running back coach, special team coordinator, we've been in contact multiple times during this draft process. So I'm just excited to be able to get to, you know, work and just like get this thing rolling through. You know, you mentioned right. circling the Vikings as a possibility. Um, was that because of conversations you had with them or because you knew that they had a need at uh, kick returner or why, why did you circle the Vikings there? Definitely. I think uh, my agent really, you know, we sat down, we looked at depth charts for multiple teams, even looking at the scheme, the running back coach, you know, even like possibilities for kick return, punt return, any type of special team needs. And we circled the Vikings as like a high place where like, you know, I go there. I would, you know, have a role as a kick returner, special teams player, and I would fit their scheme in this outside zone scheme in the run game. Eric Nels, Eric Smith, I'm sorry. Hey, Kane, uh, welcome to the team. Uh, I think you were clocked at 429 at your pro day. Um, mm -hmm. Is that the fastest you've ever ran the 40? And how, how much do you use your speed on the field as, as an advantage? Definitely. Um, actually, my fastest was a 425 in the training. I went to Nashville to train at Boost Performance, and the hand time he got me at a 425. But uh, like the times wise, coming into Pro Day, I wasn't really worried about that. I just wanted to make sure my positional drills were good. Like, made sure I caught all my balls. And like when I did my running back work, I made sure I did all that like efficiently. And the speed part to my game, you know, I think it's uh, just setting it up. You know, um, I still am working on that, just like being able to set up like blocks with your speed too. So like tempoing it down and being able to accelerate when you have the, you know, ability to. Chad Grab. Uh, can I, I think you mentioned the return game. That's a spot that the Vikings should really use some help, both kick return and uh, punt return. What can you say about your ability there um, and just what you did in college? Definitely, yeah, kick return, you know, I came in as a freshman and, uh, you know, I didn't, start playing running back I started doing kick return so my coach uh running back coach he said you know I want you to play this freshman year so I did kick return that I remember like that first practice I caught like 50 balls that day just to get comfortable with it so uh as the years progressed that I found that that was my role I wanted to you know develop my skills as a kick returner I wanted to be the best in the nation uh I tried to do that I became the best kick returner at Iowa State so for me, the way I approach anything, if the Vikings wanted me to be a punt returner, I'm going to do the exact same thing I did at Iowa State. So I'm ready for that. Andrew Kramer. Hey, Kanae, what else did you do on special teams at Iowa State? Definitely. Uh, so for me, I did a couple reps at pump block as an edge rusher, you know, blocking the kick. And then in practice, I did a couple reps at being a gunner. And, you know, for me, I feel like I could do anything on the special teams role if I'm coached up and I'm watching the film, getting my details right, but I'm just ready to do whatever the team, you know, asks me to. Chris Thomason. Yeah, hey, uh, sorry, you might have addressed this, but how much um, experience do you have returning punts? Have you done that in high school or at all or what? No, I haven't done that, but at the same light, you know, coming into being a kick returner at Iowa State, probably took like three kicks as a, like, you know, a high school athlete, so. I'm willing to learn the role if I'm needed to do that. So I don't have a lot of experience at doing it, but for me, it's like, whatever, I'll just go out and try my best and try to be the best at whatever I'm doing. And just to follow, uh, how come you don't, you didn't get a lot of carries at Iowa State? I mean, you had an awesome 5.6 yard average last season. What was kind of the situation there where maybe they didn't use you more from scrimmage? Yeah, for me, I, I don't really think about playing time like that so I go about it like if my game tape or whatever I bring to the offense isn't worthy of playing or you know even the special teams it's something I got to work on so I talk to my coaches on things I need to work on on my game so it's not up to me to put myself in the game to get more playing time. Courtney? Sorry oh, okay I'm unmuted sorry um you had a four three two forty. You know, I don't know if you've addressed that already, but like, where does your speed come from? Is that something that you do track in high school? How did you get so fast? Yeah, I think some part of that's just God given. You know, you can't really coach speed like that. But 
you know, going into high school and even middle school, seventh grade, I started running track. Honestly, you know, I've always been fast, but I wanted to be a specialist in high jump. So I went state in a Texas 5A, jumped 6'10". But the speed part, I think, you know, track definitely helps with that. But it's like you can't really coach that. I just read you're a mechanical engineering major. Um, so was the NFL kind of your fallback or was, was, it, uh, was that, was that a, a prominent part of your life? Oh, yeah. If you ask my mom, definitely the NFL would have been like plan B, you know. So for them, they all came to America in their mid-20s. Um, they came here to get a higher education. Dad has two uh, business finance degrees. Mom went pre-med and now she has a master's as a nurse practitioner. But for me, you know, I always wanted to play football. And I knew I wanted to be an engineer as well. And I knew football could help me be an engineer. But like for me, I always wanted to be an NFL player and I knew I wanted to get my degree. So for me, the NFL was my plan. Lindsay? Lindsay? Sorry, I think I'm frozen. Can you hear me, Kanae? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, welcome to Minnesota. Thanks for, for joining us today. I'm just curious sort of, you know, what your thoughts are about the Vikings running back room and what you're looking forward to learning from, you know, a guy like Delvin or, or even Alexander Madison, who's established himself the past couple of years as well. No, I'm ready. Like I just got off the phone with the running back coach and it's like, I'm ready to learn and work and like grow from being behind those types of guys. You know, like my whole career, I've been behind David Montgomery and then last year behind Brees Hall. And in the same sense, it's like being behind someone, you can learn something and you can also push that person to be better. So I'm just ready to come into that room and just be of use in like any way that, you know, offensive coordinator, running back coach, special teams, they see me needed. Courtney? Kanae, there were some draft projections that didn't have you going until the seventh round. Were you kind of surprised when you heard your name called this early? Uh, for me, like, I wasn't really worried about all that. Like, my entryway into the league, I kind of had the same idea. Like, whenever my name gets called or if, if it didn't get called, I was going to have to play special teams. I was going to have to come to rookie mini camp. I was going to have to show why I was worthy of coming onto the team. So wherever I went or whatever round it was, I wasn't really concerned about that. Uh, 